Hello, it's the Randy Duck, and welcome back for another video. This time I've got two replays for you. Uh, one being in the tier 9 German medium tank, the E50. And the other one being in the tier 10 um, German medium tank, the Leopard. Now I know normally I like to do two videos in the same tank. It is my preferred thing to do. But I had both these replays and I wanted to showcase them. So I thought, you know, they're both German mediums. Uh, we'll put them in the same video for this one. So I hope you don't mind. Um, so, on to the replay. The first one we're in, Kasserine. Um, and we are platooned up with my um, buddy uh, Cubius Pickle and we're going to see what we can do. Um, so E50, I know it's been on my channel a few times but I just love that tank if I'm honest with you. It has great mobility, if you watch my channel a lot you know I, I'm quite keen on um, medium tanks with good mobility. Um, I just find them enjoyable to play. It has okay armour, you can side scrape, you can expect to bounce a few shots. The turrets obviously even with its buff, you know, you are still going to get penetrated with heat shells and stuff through the turret. Um, but having said that, you know, you can bounce a few shots, so it's not too bad, especially with the mobility it does have. It has a fantastic gun, very accurate. The only thing is its, it's aim time is a little bit slow, but with 6.0, all the accuracy perks and stuff like that, you don't always have to fully aim your shot in, so it's not too bad. Um, that sort of starting position, I just went there because I was there quickly and I wanted to get a bit of information because information is key, always just remember where tanks are, that's going to help you at a later point in the game. Um, this is the main location I like to start on this spawner, uh, you know, because you can get nice shots like this into that Jag Tiger who's sort of caught out in the open. Uh, I get one in, I'm going to really chance in this shot here and I get the second one in, unfortunately I do eat one in return. Um, but I did want to get damage into the tank, so it is, a, you know, it is what it is. Um, and now we get an opportunity to shoot this German light tank, which we do. Always good to get damage in the light tanks early. And then I think we poke up and we actually spot um, a 50 TP in the middle. So these locations worked out really well for us at the start. You know, we've got four shots of damage in, uh, and the game's only just started. We're going to try and get one into the Jag Tiger 88. He whiffs his shot, which is nice, and we're now up to 2,000 damage. Yeah, so this location has worked well. Obviously, there's fun police in the game. Um, there you go, we ricochet the shot, which you can do in this tank. Uh, but yeah, there's fun police in the game. So yeah, it is all, sometimes when you sit here, they do our aim at you. That is a concern. So I don't particularly want to hang around, and I want to kill this 50 TP as quickly as possible because um, we haven't really controlled the other side of the map. So I'm going to push through. I know there's a good chance I'm going to eat a shot, which I do. Um, but that's what your hit points are for. I'm going to move to put this um, 50 TP in a compromising position. Because he's now got me at this extreme angle. And he's also got a friendly team coming in behind him. And hopefully that allows us to kill him as quickly as possible. Um, my platoon mate is actually going in to finish him off. I put him on a one shot. I chance that shot. But now I'm not going to hang around and wait. I want to keep chasing the damage. I've had a decent start at this game. But I want to keep getting to the damage where I can. I realise this Tiger 2 is out of uh, position. Um, so I'm going to push in to get a shot. We get one in there. We're going to sort of you know, make sure it's awkward for him to get a shot in. And we're going to then try and just sneak in and get a secondary shot into the Tiger, which we do. Now we're going to back up to avoid taking any damage in return. Um, and yes, yeah, very quickly we've got quite a bit of damage in there. So that's really, really good. Now I've realised that the enemy team are heavy. I've quite pushed in on this um, our he friendly heavies down here i really want to help them i am concerned not going to get shot in the rear i'm hoping that they're going to get distracted enough by um our friendly my friendly platoon mate um but yeah it is a concern we get two shots in but then we do eat a shot of this t54 coming around the corner um, and i decided i don't want to risk sitting there anymore you know i don't know if it's a td that could potentially shoot me in the rear so i'm going to move to a less compromising position because yeah, I don't want to eat any more damage. Uh, I did want to help my team out there, but that's what it is. I've had a decent start to this game, but I don't want the game to get away from me. You know, once you've had this decent game, I really want to keep going to where the most damage is on the map. That's why I like the mobility of the tank, so you can keep relocating. I'm trying to get to a different sort of angle here where I can still help my team, but maybe I'm a little bit more uh potential potentially a little bit safer we get a shot into the t54 we back up 
Uh, we're just going to make sure we're not detected. We've still obviously got the sixth sense on us, but that's fine. Uh, we're not detect. No one's detected. So no one's got their gun aiming at us at the moment. Uh, and then we get a second shot into this a T-54. Once he's taken out, we should be able to move forward and see if we can get some more shots of this heavy. I've seen this Emil going around to try and take out the one-shot heavy. I'm hoping I can help him out, and I do. And that always feels good when you get to help your teammates like that. Um, that's put us onto 5,400 damage. Uh, the damage is getting away from us, though. Um, there's not a lot of tanks left. And like I say, this is where the mobility of his tank is really, really nice. Um, and E50 he's always had that decent mobility like this. It's, it's really decent. Um, and now I'm just going to try and get to the rest of the damage. Um, there's a light tank. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get a shot in. We then spot this um, Amex 13, 1357. We get one into him. He gets shut down, so we're going to try and chase down this T-54. We go for the track wheel. We get him tracked in place. Another good thing the E-50 is good for, and that's ramming. We managed to ram him for sort of over 300 there. Um, and then, yeah, put us onto 6,500 damage. So we're having a really good game. There's two tanks left. Now, I would really like to get over to the 7K mark, you know, a nice round number. Um, so I'm going to try and be the first to find this TD you know all our team is obviously doing this you know wants to get the kill as well uh, we are on for a brother in arms if I can get a kill as well now the Udez gets spotted I'm trying my best to get there as quickly as I can and just hoping he doesn't eat any damage because selfishly I want it <laughs> that's all it is it looks like we might get an opportunity here and you see what I mean the aim time's not great on this tank but it's still very accurate I didn't have to fully aim that shot and it's still hit and hopefully we can get one more into him here. He might be sent us a shot, and we do, and that puts us onto 7k. But now there's one light tank left to chase down, and rather than bore you uh, with me talking on trying to find this light tank, I'm going to leave it there, put some smooth music on, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so there we go. Unfortunately, we can't find the light tank in, in time to get that extra damage because our team capped out, which is a shame because he could have been full health for all I know, um, and then I could have had a bigger game. Um, but nothing I could have done to stop that, so there's no point dwelling on it. Um, we did have a decent game, got 7,000 damage. And yeah, that's it for the first replay. Uh, we have one more to come in the tier 10 in the Leopard. Um, so stay tuned, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so thanks for staying with us. Uh, here we are for the second replay in the tier 10 Leopard uh, German Tech Tree tank. And we are on the I know, fantastic map for it, really, Westfields. It's got all the elements of potentially have a good game. There was one fun police in the in play. But Westfields good because I've got lots of um, opportunities to move about, um, get over the map, you know, potentially pick up assistance. And, you know, maybe use the camo of the tank. It does have decent camo. And one of the other things it has is fantastic mobility and a really sexy gun. You know, it's really accurate, good DPM, uh, really, really nice, really nice gun. Obviously, it has zero armor. You don't want to get me hit and hit by those fun police because that's going to hurt. And, yeah, you, you can get penned uh, by some HE shells. It doesn't really have any armor at all. Um, but it does have decent, decent mobility, decent gun, and that's why I like the tank. I mean, the, the gun's really good. Obviously, I'm biased because I like medium tanks, but the Leopard is a, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a decent little tank. I do, do get on quite well with it. So, because it's in counter, 
um, and there's a few light tanks in the game. I didn't really want to go to the middle and spot the, the cross, just because I didn't think I had the best spawn for it. Plus, um, yeah, I just, I, I just wasn't sure with that many light tanks, I might they might do something silly. Uh, so we're going to pop up and try and get some damage here. We get one nice and early for the QL. Now, I'm going to go back in a minute for another shot, which is really risky, if I'm honest. I don't know if I would recommend this, because clearly the QL was looking at us. But it paid off. We actually managed to juke his shell. Well, I say we juke it. He missed his shell, and we got an extra shot of damage as a can. So a little bit risky going for the second um, poke, but it did pay off. We're now going to try and um, use its mobility just to try and get to a different angle. Uh, they're expecting me to be there. So I'm going to try and get to a different angle if I can um, and put them in a different sort of situation. And really, I really want to get this QL out as quickly as possible because a QL is a really dangerous tank. Um, it has big alpha for a heavy tank. It's mobile. Um, yeah, it's, it's a tank I'd like to get rid of in this situation. Uh, we do get a shot into him. It's looking now, trying to stay safe in the QL, but unfortunately he does get a shot into us there. Um, it takes off a fair chunk of my hit points. Um, but we have just spotted this um, Type 4 coming around in the open. Um, but before we do that, we actually managed to get a cheeky shot for the uh, QL Scapola. I mean, I've got some good luck on him uh, getting 4 damage in, in, in return to him. But now I Q Type 4 Heavy. Obviously, he could pen me with HE, which would be really dangerous. Uh, but he's stuck in the open. There's nowhere he can go here. So I want to get rid of him before we get safe. Now, this is the problem with the Type 4. You, you know, you hit A, you get to that heat shells, and if you've got a heat, his armor now counts for nothing. And, and uh, you know, the poor Type 4 Heavy, I do feel a little bit sorry for him, but his hit points in the day, it's a tank, it's got a big gun that can hurt me, and I want to try and take him out as quickly as possible um, and get as much damage in as I can. I'm almost up to 3k damage. You know, the, the game's still pretty even. Um, we should be able to finish him off here, um, which we do. And now it's just this QL and, um, and this medium tank who kind of stuck in an awkward situation. So we swatch back to the APCR. We don't want to get our shot absorbed by the tracks. And we're going to try and kill this QL, which we do nicely, picking ourselves up another shot of damage. Now we've sort of won this side. I know but if I can get across this map as quickly as possible, there's a very good chance I'll pick up a lot of assistance if I'm the first person here. Um, because there'll be a lot of campers. You know, you can already see shots going off. Um, across the map and if I can spot them then it, yeah I'm going to get all the assistance and there you go we spotted a Waffle E100 perfect tank to spot because he's got no armour and people like to shoot the Waffle E100 so already my assistance is starting to fly in got up to close to 2k assistance now and we're in a pretty good position here because we can use this sort of ridge line to uh, use our gun depression and sort of minimise the, the shots the enemy team has on us and we can keep poking to get shots in like this and this waffle. Um, this manticore comes down, we get a lovely shot into him, putting us just under 5k damage. Now there's only five tanks left, um, and I want to be the first person to, to spot them, uh, because if I can get over there, we know where they are, they're on the other side of the ridge, you know, that, that's obvious, to be honest with you, you just got to look at where our team is, you can figure out where the enemy team is. So, now I've lost my spot, I'm going to move over, um, and see what we can do, see if we can spot up the remaining team um, and see if we can pick up any more assistance damage. And as we've done that, we've got that um, uh, spot on the Paladin. Uh, there's going to be no one else closer to that Paladin. If he gets shot, we're picking up all the assistance damage at this point, and that's exactly what's happened. Uh, but as we do, we get a dirty shot on the move onto that Waffle, um, and yeah, that was really nice. Um, and now, I'm not, you know, if this Paladin shoots me, he shoots me. He's only got like 220 alpha, but I am concerned about this M40 that I've now lit. Um, and I'm a little bit concerned he's going to get a shot into me, and that would have ruined my day. But fortunately not, and we managed to pick up a shot of damage and get a bit more assistance. And we're up to pretty much 10k combined now, so we've had a really decent game. Because considering this game has not gone on very long, we've really made the most of it, you know. That's why these quick games, sometimes you just have to push the pace, you know. If you stay too long, you're not going to get the damage out of it. There's only this object 440U left now. We're hoping he presents us a shot. We can maybe get a shot in and finish him off. Um, because you know, he's only got 255 damage, but everyone counts. You know, Pick up another bit of kill. But obviously that's a difficult tank to deal with when it's in cover like that. We're going to really struggle to pen it. I actually swatched the heat here just because it was only showing me his turret. 
I was going to lose penetration over distance with APCR and I didn't think I'd go through him. Why not even go through his Capola over this sort of range where obviously the heat shells, you lose no penetration over distance. But he's not really presenting us a shot. So we're going to have to go in. My theory is I'm going to spot him and then our enemy team will kill him and I don't get, get the kill. Uh, nor does it want to try and pick that up if I can. Um, but he hasn't got Detroit yet. Um, it, and yeah, he's looking like he may come out in the open. I was sort of watching and watching and watching. He goes off the map, but um, yeah, we, we take the shot anyway and we kill him blind, uh, finishing off that little bit of extra damage and extra kill. And that brings us to the end of the video. So we get four kills, 6,000 damage, 5,000 assistance, ace tanker, high caliber. And yeah, uh, I think that's the first time I've had a leopard on my video uh, replay. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. And as all, always, happy tanking. Oh, Gen-